I am in Marseille, one of the oldest continuously inhabited places in Europe. And I'm gonna go on two uh, islands right next to Marseille. One of them, Ile Dif, uh, was a prison for a very long time. So let's go check that out. So, this is the old port of Marseille, the economic hub, historically, and the little boat that's going to take me to the island is right in front of me. So this is some chateau that apparently guards Marseille's port. Oh. All right, we've just arrived to uh, the Port Friul. I'm gonna check out some of the chateaus and the beaches here. Hopefully you guys can hear me with all this wind. So, the Free U Islands are made up of two islands, Ratano and Pomeg, and they've been a part of, Mar of Marseille's history for centuries. to uh, Chateau Rantonneau. Let's go see what's inside. Fort Rantonneau was built in the 17th century as a naval defense a center to protect Marseille. There was also a hospital built later on in the island, which we'll go visit. And um, this hospital was used um, as a place to isolate sailors that could have been um, that could have been carrying infectious diseases. But we're still at the fort. I've got to say, the French are some real troopers for hanging out here with no air conditioning. As you can see, there isn't a cloud in sight and I'm burning my little buns off here. Ooh. Let's go check out what's over there. This also looks like a World War II type bunker. Maybe it's older and it was reinforced in the World War II, who knows? But this thing up there looks very World War II-esque. Some 
Now, I'm walking towards Hospital Caroline. As you can see, the public cannot enter like we could enter the, the fort. It does look really cool though. I just had a nice little lunch break. Uh, a cool lunch with a beer and some water. And I had talked to two guys that are from Kazakhstan originally, but live in Lyon. And they recommended that I visit uh, three cities, in, um, one in Kazakhstan and two in, Uz in Uzbekistan. They recommended Almaty, as well as two others that I don't remember. Um, it was a nice little exchange. So, after a nice little lunch, I'm leaving Friul for uh, the island Pomegay. And I'm gonna go to the tour of Pomegay, which is some type of fortification done on this island a long time ago. I made it to the top. Can't really go in, but I made it. Boy. Yo, I just got off the phone with my good friend Greg, AKA that's the easy one on YouTube. I'm gonna put the link on the description in the description of this video of his, of his channel. Go check him out. Big shout out to Greg. We made it. Man, I'm so tired. I just walked this right here. Just walked all that. Finally, a break from the wind. Ooh it smells like piss here. It's odd how there's so much wind outside and this place still smells like piss. This looks like some type of World War II fortifications. Some yucky Nazi built stuff. I've sufficiently walked for today. I'm gonna go back to the port enjoy a nice little beer, and then go back to Marseille. Hope you enjoyed this journey. I enjoyed it a lot. And um, stay tuned for more, because there's a lot more stuff coming.